things that make me laugh. I'm just thinking of the top of my head. Uh, Groucho Marx, famous comedian in the 1950s. He said, are you going to believe uh, your eyes or are you going to believe me? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Andy Griffin said something. He's a comedian too, who I met. He said, uh, uh, do, uh, do you worship the messenger or the message? And I don't believe in worship. That's like, they told you a slave said, it's in the Bible. It's like, you know, obey your earthly master. Like, nah, dude, we, we way past that. Lincoln took the chains off a long time ago. And I actually said it one time in church with my mom. And uh, I took Natasha and she never saw, you know, she's Russian, my ex-girlfriend. And I went there and the people got so happy and jumping around and, you know, and she didn't know why they was doing that. And she started laughing. My mom said, still, can you tell her not to? I was like, mom, look at this. Did these people realize Lincoln Freedom? And uh, I actually said that. And she looked at me like, most seriously ever looked at me in my life, like, oh God. Not like she was mad, she was like, wow, you're really deep. And I was like, mom, we gotta go. And, uh, but I remember as a kid, I went to church all the time as a kid. I remember one time, at my Uncle Edward's church, and the lady got happy, and you know, that's so-called happy, like someone enters them for like uh, three seconds, five, two minutes, and like, they, it leaves the body, you know I mean? Not enough suffering in the world that they had to solve that problem, that this stereotypical person who's overweight and loud, but anyway, I'm not, I don't wanna get too negative. She smacked me in my head, and then my mom sitting next to me, and she got happy, I was mad. I was like, I was good at slap boxing, not someone's real funny. I was like, hey, I was, my mom said, Stu. I was like, I was really mad. I was like, that don't make no sense. Anyway, moving on. What's another thing, maybe? Uh, Mo, my regular partner, he said he just got back from his honeymoon on the plane ride. He saw V from Vendetta. And he saw, I told him to watch that. And uh, he saw The Matrix for the first time. And uh, I didn't tell him to watch that. But I love movies that make you think, not just fluffy stuff and, you know, TNA, fast cars. What do you, that's why I love going to International House with my ex girlfriend from Russia. We watch foreign films and it's so much better acting, it has meaning, and just like, uh, I like I like to think, <laughs> you know, many times right now. And uh, I want to make sense of what the hell we was here for. And uh, it's not from old stories a long time ago. It's not from like, if you didn't experience it, then you can't talk about it. And so I don't talk about things I don't experience. Anyway, uh, the, the Matrix, I saw that, I didn't understand that at first. I had to watch the movie again. And it's like, ah, oh, I kind of get a better understanding. And that's how life is. It's not like just set in stone, just the way it's supposed to be. You keep going, growing, growing. I don't have all the answers, but I'm a lot better than I was yesterday. And I keep doing that and doing that and doing that. Anyway, one more thing to say. Oh, yeah, Joe Wogan said something about religion one time. He said, do you have any videos for this stuff? 